Hi, my name is Amber Giltner. My husband's name is Levi. Um, my two daughters are Jada, she is 13, and Lainey, she is 10. My life before I knew Jesus as my savior, I worked a ton of hours. It was just me and my girls a lot. I was a single mom for several years. I thought everything was going great. And then I came to realize um, that things really were not great at all. There was um, really a just, I felt like a hole missing in my heart and soul. And one day I decided that I was gonna pick up my Bible and just start praying to the Lord. Uh, pray to the Lord that he would help me find someone um, to love me and to love my children as I love my children and to spend the rest of my life with me and to also help me find the Lord the way that I needed to find him. So um, I started praying and I started reading my Bible more and just kept praying every day. And I used to go to the gym and I had seen this guy there, but I never thought that he really liked me. And turned out he did and I actually married him and my, that was my husband, Levi. He is the most amazing man I've ever met in my whole entire life. Levi was definitely a father of follower of Jesus. Um, his grandpa was a preacher. His parents were both followers of Jesus. And actually, that's how I really learned all most of my faith is um, through Levi and his family. And that's how they have taught me so much. And then I started coming to a community church um, through Levi's brother and his wife. And my life is completely different. Uh, what I thought was fun was going out to the bars um, on the weekends that I didn't have my kids. What is fun to me now is coming to church on Sunday mornings and, as we call it, singing our face off and worshiping the Lord. And we count down the days so we get to go to church again. And fun is seeing my daughter go to youth group and, and count down her days so she gets to go to youth and also come out of church and both of my girls smiles on their face and us all just praise the Lord and, and pray together when we eat and just have the Lord in our home. And that is fun. Family is fun. Having the Lord in our home is fun to me now. I just can't even express how much better I feel, the way my heart feels, how my heart feels whole now, and I don't feel like there's anything missing. And I just feel so much better. I, I feel like there's no other feeling in the world. I can't even explain the feeling that I have anymore. I would like to thank, first of all, the Lord for bringing Levi into my life. And his family, they have been so great to us. Oh, it's so great to me and my children. They have never once ever treated my children like they are anyone different ever than their own. I thank everyone of my friends and everybody in the family that have encouraged me to find the Lord and that have been by my side to find the Lord. And also Pastor John that has always been there for us, um, that married us, that has always been there whenever we need him. I really don't know what we have, what have done without him. And Community Church, just in a whole, they're, they're definitely family to us. Community Church makes me feel wanted. Community Church makes me feel like family, and it's home. When I walk in here, everyone is smiling. It's so, it's just so heartwarming. It just feels like home. It just feels like this is where I need to be. This is where I've always needed to be and this is where I'm always gonna be. I wanna be baptized today because I feel that the Lord has called me today to do greater things in my life and that this is what he wants me to do. Hello everybody, surprise. Um, so uh, there could not be a, a better day to have a baptism. Um, just, just so you know, there's nothing magical about this water. This is just Batesville water. Uh, it's warmer than Batesville water, thank goodness. Um, there's nothing magical here about the water, but uh, we believe that in obedience, uh, Christ called us to be baptized as he was. And 
The reason why it's so significant on Easter is, you know, baptism is symbolic of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. And so um, this is an awesome time uh, to memorialize that and to take a step in obedience. And I, I feel so privileged to know Amber and Levi uh, these last couple years. And uh, Amber, I mean, your story is phenomenal. Um, one of the things I love best about your story is that you knew God was pursuing you. And you knew that the best way to love your two daughters, uh, the best way to love your family was to put Christ first and center in your lives. And so um, at the end of your, at, uh, of your video, you said you're being baptized because you believe God has more for you. And I truly believe that this is a step that he has so much more for you in your life. And so it's on your profession of faith, my sister, that I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.